welcome to Chef Debbie's Kitchen, where today I am going to make a tasty recipe that came to me over 2,000 miles away. It's from my sister-in-law, Kathy. It was one of her moms, and when she made it for me, I was like, wow. And I had to make a dish to pass one day for my church, and I didn't have the time, so I thought, I'll just make this recipe. And what is it? It's a potato salad. How simple can that be? Well, let me tell you, this is simple and tasty. And oh, by the way, when I made it for my church, I was reluctant because I'm like, everybody from my church makes potato salad and they make it so well. This one, I got so many requests for the recipe. I even have you out there saying, post this on YouTube. So today, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm making only a half a recipe, so if you want to make it for a big crowd, you can make a whole five pound bag of some nice russet potatoes. I got these because they're nice and firm. And what I did, which is really nice to do if you're in a hurry and you can't do everything on that day, you can make these ahead of time. And that's what I did. I made them last night. Look at that. I boiled them in water for about 20 minutes, folks. That's about it. Now look at there's a little black spot. We do not welcome that in our food. So I'm going to tell you, when you're making an amount that you have to have, make enough. Put an extra one in there. You can see I've already got three potatoes done. This is my fourth potato. You want to always make an extra one because of these situations that you could be grating it and then you might see a black thing in there and we don't welcome those into our cooking. Even though they're cooked, we want nice pure white clean tasting potatoes. So I just take a regular grater, and as you can see, I'm not food processing it. I am grating it. You're probably thinking, what? How is that going to taste? Well, it's going to taste really, really good, let me tell you. You can hear, can you hear that? You hear a little crispness, right? That's why I wanted to do this, because I wanted you not to be afraid when you're boiling your potatoes you just want to boil them for 20, 20, 25 minutes the most because you want them a little bit on the crisp side. And that is why I also chose to go with the russet potatoes versus the, the red. I love the red potatoes, especially when they come fresh and in the fall. There's nothing like a red potato. And yes, there's a million other potatoes out there, Yukon Gold, etc. But I'm probably old fashioned. I like the simple uh, red skin potato. But when I make this potato salad, I want to use my russets. They're a little heartier. There we go. And I don't waste. So you know what? Just chop up. Just chop up that little extra piece. So what if somebody gets a little thicker, crunch a potato in their mouth? Who doesn't like potato salad? In fact, most potato salads made out of chunks, right? Well, not this one. This one my sister-in-law made for me and I went, wow, that's very similar to a recipe that I made. It's my baked potato cheese casserole, which is one of our family favorites. I'll have to do that someday, make that up for us. But today we're focusing in, because it's getting to be springtime, you're going to want a nice potato salad to pass, a dish to pass. I did boil last night some eggs, and I'm going to take my hard boiled egg, which I already, I made them last night, I cut them up, oops, I mean I took the skins off, or the shells off, cut them up, I put them in my plastic container covered, and oh, by the way, when you do your eggs the night before, you are going to, again, you put them in a plastic container, sorry about that. You will get moisture because when I opened my container this morning, it was full of wet moisture. Just take a paper towel, <coughs> excuse me, take a paper towel and just wipe them off, wipe the moisture off. We don't want moisture in our potato salad. We're going to have enough. And you know, eggs, I cooked, um, what did I cook? Five. I think I did, yes, I did five eggs. You want a good amount of eggs in this. And I, what I also did, here I could probably just stick this one. I have another half here because the other half, 
I cut off in little small chunks with some leftover chives because that's going to go on top. And you know, we only need to break down the egg once. You don't want to put a mashed egg in there. So that's why I use this tool. This is so old. This was my mother's tool. Very old tool. They have them now that don't get rusty, but you know what? Don't stick them in the dishwasher. Wash them by hand. Okie dokie. Now we're on to just simply putting it together. I didn't get my little my little wet mop here. There we go. And take my good old ergonomic spatula for my hands. Now you really probably could have added one more egg. Do however much you want to add. Also, I'm putting in, yes, yeah, some scallions. I've got about a half a cup chopped scallions. We're going to put in some good old black pepper. And we got some salt here. And I'm going to tell you the really difficult, oh, whoa, that was good. You see that? The secret ingredient, I am going to put a little juice, yes from some dill pickles that I have. And then I altered it a little bit and I'm putting another tablespoon of juice from my hot pepper rings. And the last ingredient is not mayonnaise, Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip for some reason, whoops, some reason gives this recipe the kick that it really needs. And it's what makes it taste so differently than most of your potato salads that you're going to buy or that you either buy or that somebody will make and bring to a church social or other gatherings. You have a family picnic coming up. You got somebody's birthday. Somebody's turning 62 this year. <gasps> I don't know who that could be, but people, you know, are growing older every day. So you want to have a nice little different potato salad. Look at this come together. Look at how nice that is. Mmm. I think we're going to add just a wee bit more of our Miracle Whip. This recipe, like I say, is so simple. And then you can pour it. After we're done with this, certainly we don't have to serve it in this. We can put it in a really nice little bowl and we'll decorate it up. But first of all, we have to do our little taste test. I'll wash my hands here. Get myself a spoon. This taste is Oh, it's good, but she needs more salt. And you know what else she needs? Another spoonful of our juices. That is kind of what spices it up, believe it or not. And by the way, if you want to go and buy some fresh, fresh dill, you know me, well maybe you don't, but I'm all about taking a recipe, I change it and make it my own. And what I would probably do in this recipe is I probably would put some fresh dill into it. You can even grate some cheddar cheese if you want a little bit of cheese in it. There you go. We are going to taste again. I'm not going to stick my same spoon in there because we're going to be sharing this. Get in there. Mm. That's delicious. There. I put it in my little casserole bowl here that I have that is a nice little carry along to a potluck. And I'm just going to throw some fresh cut egg and a little bit of fresh cut scallions. And there we have it. And I've got my lid. Just put it in the refrigerator and it's all ready to go for a nice potluck. So if you'd like this very simple yet tasteful recipe I got from my sister-in-law, Kathy, she'll be thrilled. And just share it with whoever you have fun with this summer. 
Look for me at memorablefooddishes.com. Ciao.